am Karen Armstrong, your healthy chef. Welcome back into my kitchen. Today we're going to make a pistachio crusted salmon with red skin potatoes. First, I want to introduce you to some of our ingredients that are all healthy and all good for you. All right, let's start with our pistachios, okay? Pistachios actually deliver 30 vitamins and minerals. It's a very wonderful, high antioxidant. It has something in it called carotenoids, which reduces macular degeneration, which can cause blindness in some of the elderly, and it can reduce your cholesterol. Just munch on a few of those pistachios. Okay, next we have apples. I've got to tell you about apples. Apples are actually a wonderful bone protection. It can relieve asthma with kids and it can help to reduce Alzheimer's, some of the problems that um, our elderly have with Alzheimer's. But what's really fascinating about apples, it was just shown in a study with Cornell University that apples, anywhere from one to three a day, can reduce colon cancer, breast cancer, and liver cancer up to 44%. Load up on your apples. Okay, next we're going into our apricots. Our apricots are fabulous. They can actually um, help counterbalance your anemia. It is wonderful indigestion. And if anybody in your family might be fighting a fever, you know, we've got flu season coming up, apricots actually help to reduce fevers. All right, next we have our red potatoes. These are loaded with vitamins. Anything that is colorful is obviously better for you. We're going to leave the skin on, and I'm gonna show you how to prepare these with a little bit of garlic and a little bit of dill. I have got to tell you about the dill. Dill can actually help you with insomnia. And the awesome thing about dill that very few people know about is dill can counterbalance any carcinogenics in your body. Did you know it was an antioxidant? Bet you didn't. Let's find some other ways that we can incorporate dill into our diet. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, what we wanna do is get our potatoes started first. So I've washed a little bit of dill. Let's put it on our chopping board along with our potatoes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some garlic to this. So even before it goes into the casserole, we have it all mixed together. Actually, let's throw a little of our olive oil into our casserole. Just so as I chop, we can lay it in there, okay? Now, remember, your olive oil is packed with omegas, which are fabulous for brain function. We need our omegas in our diet, and olive oil is all good for you. So, enjoy it. Okay, let's get going. Um, I've already minced up our garlic, so let's just throw that in there. Let's actually start with our potatoes. You can chop these however you wish. Because the salmon is going to be fried in olive oil, I'm going to chop my potatoes a little smaller because we want them to be done cooking as soon as our salmon is finished. Okay, so let's throw these in here as we go. The great thing about these meals is that they're easy, they're simple, there's not a lot of ingredients, and they cook in about 20 minutes. So if you only have a heads up of 20 minutes before your partner, spouse, or kids get home, it's a great meal to make. It's all healthy. All right, here's our dill. Take the stems off. Try to keep just the leafy area of the herb, okay? I mean, it'll all cook, it'll all be soft, but you really just wanna to try to stay with the ends of the herb. Okay. Now, remember, if you ever have herbs or nuts, you can always use your coffee grinder if you don't feel like chopping it. For me, you know me, I like my foods chunky. So, I'm just gonna use the cutting board, it's just as easy, and the moment that you cut into this dill, wow, it just releases such a fabulous aroma. So we're going to throw that over the top. You can add as many potatoes as you need for your own dish, depending on what your family is hungry for. But we're actually feeding four today. We've got some friends coming over. So I want to make sure that we've got plenty of potatoes to go around. All right, let's just mix this all together. And we're going to roast this for about mm, 40 minutes on 350. Okay, let's pop this into the oven. 
completely uncovered. And now we'll get busy with our salmon. Okay, the next step is very easy, but while we're working on it, I need to let you know to stop opening that oven door. Every time you do that, you eliminate 15 minutes from the cooking time of whatever's in the oven. Allow it to just sit there. Right now, the potatoes are in. They're gonna be there for 40 minutes. Let's just move on and enjoy making our salmon. All right, we're gonna take our pistachios. I've already shelled these. You don't even need that many of them. Put them in a little baggie. Throw them all in there. Now, these are dried apples. Throw the apples in there too. Love apples. This is a wonderful snack for your kids too. So as they smell that delicious food cooking in the oven, give them some apple chips to munch on. They'll be satisfied and it won't ruin their dinner. All right, I've got a tiny little mallet. Where was this on my first episode when I needed it? And we're just going to munch this all together. Now you can do this in your coffee grinder, you can do it in your food processor, but it's just as easy to do it in a little baggie. Remember, this is wonderful stress release if you've had a tough day. You know, the great thing about when you mince something or when you chop something like this, I think one of the reasons why I like it a little chunkier versus pureed is I really feel that some of your nutrients are lost when the juices are lost in the natural organics of whatever food you're working with. So by leaving it chunky, you also get that chewing motion, which is better for your digestion. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this in a bowl. This is what's going to create the crust on the outside of our salmon. Salmon is a delicious fish. It's not like most of the fishes that don't hold flavor. It's rich, so a little bit can fill you up, but it's packed with those omegas and it's flavorful, unlike a lot of the other fishes. So let's cut up our fish. I bought a nice big slab, but we're going to be feeding four today. So I'm going to cut it in fours. And what I'm going to do is put a little olive oil in it and then dip it in here. And then we're going to fry it. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, we have a nice big piece of salmon. We're going to cut it into four, right here. This particular fish, we've taken the skin off the back. Your butcher can do that. A lot of people don't like the skin on their fish. So just have your butcher take it off for you when you buy it. All right, so let's add a little bit of olive oil to this, just so our yummy ingredients stick to the top. You know me, I love to work with my hands. I'm like a kid that way. It's like preschool all over again. All right, so just massage it in. Now we're going to take our fish, lay it in the mixture, squish it down there. And I already have my frying pan all ready. Let me get that. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's my frying pan. A little bit of olive oil. You don't even need that much. Okay, let's get to the other side. Okay, and then straight to your frying pan. All right. Okay, so once your salmon is in the pan, I've taken some more fresh dill and I'm just going to use this as a little garnish as it cooks. All right, so just chopping some dill and we're just going to sprinkle this right over the top of the salmon. And already I can smell the garlic and those roasted potatoes. It smells so good. Okay, we're going to make a garnish for the salmon. We're going to use the dried apricots and the juice of a fresh orange. Um, I want to tell you something about the dried apricots. Um, the process in which they're dried can create sulfites. So if you are allergic to sulfites, you want to maybe use um, a fresh apricot versus the dried ones. But today I'm going to teach you how to use the dried ones. Okay, let's put it in our food processor. going to squeeze the juice right out of the orange. Okay. 
Okay, nice and moist. You know, a lot of people use lemon to flavor their uh, salmon, but why stick with just lemon? Let's use another citrus. Let's liven it up a little bit. Make it original. There we go. And this way you get some of the pulp of the orange right there. Just healthy and delicious. Okay, just gonna blend this together. So if you see that any seeds have been deposited within the mixture before you get it started, pull out those seeds. Or if you blend it really well, you won't even taste it. But I think there were only two, so we're good. Okay, here is our apricot orange puree. It already smells amazing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a little saucepan and warm it up so it can be nice and warm and delicious and kind of melty over the uh, salmon. Uh, what I've done is I've put olive oil within the pan so it does not stick to it. Goes right in here. Everything goes on low temperature. I'd much rather you take longer to cook your food on a lower temperature rather than have to worry about releasing any carcinogenics by things being heated too quickly. That happens with a lot of vegetables. Low and slow is best. Okay. Just warm this up. And as you do, it will actually become more liquidy, which will make for a really nice sauce over the salmon. Okay, we're going to plate our salmon. Look how beautiful that is. Our garnish and what I'm doing is I'm going to put this separately it's like a little dipping sauce and that way they can either choose to use it or not and then I'm gonna get the red potatoes out and I'm wearing my glasses today for as vain as I am just for you because I want to read you something in just one minute about red potatoes and why they're so essential for your health Oranges, they smell amazing. The whole house is just filled with fresh aroma, the garlic, a little scent of the apples and the apricots. It just smells like a harvest festival in here. Okay, here we go. Mm, yummy. Okay. Now, if you wanted to have a little garnish of dill, you can do that too. Okay, I need to read you some information that I just discovered today. You know, my mom raised us on potatoes and always wanting to eat healthy, I didn't think I could enjoy the potato until I read this. Red potatoes are packed with vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is vital in the production of serotonin and melatonin. These are stabilizing mood enhancers. Do you know serotonin, when it's compromised, that's why they give Zoloft, Prozac, um, Cymbalta, any sort of antidepressant supplement, because it needs to have um, the effect of raising the serotonin in your brain. You're getting that in the red potato. The melatonin, if you suffer from insomnia, melatonin is something that you can buy in the drugstore, grocery store, as a supplement. It's in your red potato. You're gonna sleep like a baby tonight and relax, knowing that you're going to eat well and be healthy. All right, my guests are here, so let's get dinner served. Eat well and be well. I'm Karen Armstrong.